Hi, Trez. Good to see you, man. You um, I'm doing okay. Hope you're hanging in. Look like you're having fun fishing and whatnot. <laughs> my, my, yeah, right on. Hey, my question for you, I guess a lot of people have been talking about the hotline, and I wonder what your feelings are on sort of having a hotline to record things and whether you would use it or just kind of like what your thoughts are on, on that thing. Uh, um, come on now. Do I like I'm a player that has used that hotline? Um, you know, I haven't used that hotline, um, honestly. Um, teach us own, man. Um, you know, whatever people try to do, it's up to them. Um, like the quote I just said, you know, everything that you do is really up to you. It's your choice and uh, your decision that you make. Um, I've been chilling. I've been enjoying my teammates. Um, we've been fishing. Uh, me, PG, and Reggie have been getting after it. So uh, we've been finding ways to stay sane and just uh, basically build our team camaraderie and uh, just grow together as a team. Thanks, man. Next one from Om. Hey, Trez, great seeing you again, man. Um, got two questions. One, uh, your teammate said the most interesting thing that guys brought to Orlando was what you brought, the portable sauna. I was wondering what the thinking was behind that. How do you use it? And the second question is, how do you think – you guys are playing so great for the hiatus. How do you think the hiatus has affected your championship run? Has it made it better, or will it impact in a different way? Um, to ask the first question, um, I use it, um, you know, basically just, uh, you know, detoxing it, just cleansing out the body. I'm getting a real good sweat in um, on the off days that we're not really doing anything and getting after it on the court. Um, you know, I also have the uh, training max uh, that kind of boosts your elevation and, uh, you know, breathing capacity um, kind of make it, uh, makes it like you're playing in Denver a lot. So I kind of use that uh, with my um, sauna. It goes hand in hand, man, just kind of putting my body through. Um, different conditions that it's kind of not normally used to and uh, just trying to overcome them and just being able to withstand them. Um, and as far as the second question, um, honestly, I think it basically improved our chances. Um, we got guys who were able to, you know, get the rest of that needed, um, was able to rehab their body and actually um, get back into, you know, uh, tremendous recovery stage that they weren't able to, you know, withstand um, with the games that we were having and the way that it was going, traveling and things like that. Um, but you know, we're having this time off. I think guys are, you know, 100% healthy and guys are ready to just get back out there and just, you know, eager to get going, really. All right, next we're going to go to Andrew. Trez, also good to see you. Uh, thanks for doing this. Um, you know, obviously your rhythm with Lou has been talked about so often. And in past off seasons, you guys get to go do runs together in Atlanta and whatnot. Um, what's it been like getting that rhythm back when, during a time when you haven't been able to, to play with him? Um, I don't think it's something that we've lost. Um, you know, it's thing, that's something that we've built up over time and the chemistry that we have with one another is something that we kind of gelled and um, grew with over years. I really don't think it's something that you can lose just over a couple of months' time period, um, especially when, uh, you know, before we actually came back out here, you know, we was able to kind of solidify our own little space and just kind of still get after it with one another. Um, guys who were still testing negative uh, throughout the testing process, you know, so I think we still was able to get after it still um, hoop and get out there and get active. So, you know, I really don't think we really lost anything, honestly. All right, next we're going to go to Dan. Hey, Trez. Um, I'm curious, it, the, the, one of the things that sort of the bubble provides for people is a lot of free time and a lot of time to yourself. Um, what do you hope to get out of that time? Is there anything we've seen? Some guys are making music, other guys are making movies, documentaries. What, what are you trying to do with that time? Uh, me, myself, I'm going to just continuously to work on my brand and, uh, you know, my clothing line. Um, I've had, a, you know, a lot of free time with this whole, you know, thing that's happened in the world and, and crisis that we have to really adjust to. Um, you know, I was able to go and, um, you know, be with my family and just enjoy that time. Um, but really just sticking to my brand. Um, you know, I got two clothing lines that I'm real passionate about um, and my underdog clothing brand and then uh, the new brand that I'm pushing in the outer world. Um, it's a higher tier fashion, um, more as men's clothing, but, you know, working with jeans, jackets, just all different type of stuff. And I was able to link with um, Brandon Jennings, who is a guy who was in the NBA, but who's crossover and just taking his brand to a whole completely different level in the fashion world. And that's what he's really passionate about and what he's actually doing. So, you know, that's what I'm real um, big into. And I think, you know, with uh, linking with him and uh, the mindset that he has and where he's, you know, brought his brand from, from, you know, the start of tough, tough crowds to where it is now. Um, I think I'm going to have, uh, you know, some great insight and definitely I'm um, ready and looking forward to get, you know, diving more into that. Okay, last one's going to be Charlie. 
Hey, Trez. Um, we've heard a couple people refer to the to the bubble as kind of like a big AAU tournament. Um, and I, I'm curious, what, how would you describe the vibe in there? And if it's like that, how so? Um, I think more so because uh, the surroundings and, um, you know, every guy who's, you know, been through this basketball process has, you know, somewhat played on the AAU circuit or know about it. And, you know, everybody knows that the showcase and the Nationals are done here. Um, and, you know, I think for the AAU field, I think guys are kind of more so looking towards when we get into game forms and, you know, not having fans and stuff in there. Um, you know, those are things that you have to <laughs> kind of go through and endure the process of playing AAU and, you know, coming up, starting in the programs and, you know, it's trying to build your name. Um, so you have those times where you're in gyms where guys don't have really that many fans there, um, hardly no coaches. So you just got to, you know, bring your own energy in order to play and still will your team to win. Um, so I think that's more so what guys are kind of, uh, you know, speaking towards when they say um, AAU games and things like that. All right. Thanks so much, Trev. Have a good time.